Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley, and we're going to be in Medieval 2 Total War. I'm going to be playing as the Scottish, and I'm going to have a huge force, two Templar Knights in the front, then a long line of these pikemen, so three of these, just to screen my force, and then five of these dismounted feudal knights. That's going to be the core of my infantry assault. Four of these noble swordsmen, um, and then I'm actually going to have two more in the back, but these have been uh, given additional upgrades to armor and attack. So a massive infantry force. Then I have a General's Bodyguard with another Knight's Templar guarding him. And then two more of these feudal knights uh, in the back. So a pretty big cavalry force, but mostly my strength is going to come in infantry. My plan is going to be to overwhelm the English. So they're formed up here, kind of traditional Agincourt type thinking, where they have a lot of these yeoman archers in the front, backed up by armored sergeants. Um, and they're right in front of their stake line, so they can pull back to that, or at least attempt to. So a lot of these guys, and what they, I think my opponent realizes is he really needs to take a chunk out of me before I close because I have so much infantry that he really needs to whittle down my numbers from a distance. So he's going to try and do that. He has some cavalry with some more armored sergeants on the flanks just to guard him. And then in the center, two more yeoman archers, but then mostly this is where his infantry blob is going to be at. So a lot of these knights coming through here, backing it up. These are pretty ferocious knights. It looks like they're going to be placing themselves right at the stake line, anticipating that I'm going to push through the center. So, he's going to, like I said, try and take a chunk out of me from a distance, which is a good move. So let's see how much of a chunk they can take. And this is going to be rather intimidating from their part. They can see me starting to spread out. Um, so the core here, waiting to see just what's going to happen in this fight. My plan is going to be to move around the flanks. Um, and I'm a little worried about the range on these guys. You can see they're already going to start to unleash on me relatively soon as I start to position my knights. Moving around the flanks, my pikemen guarding against a cavalry charge. And then I have Dismounted Knights and then these Chivalric Knights moving close support. I'm going to have a couple different groups just to charge in at different angles. Now here comes the, the storm of English arrows coming in. My Knights are going to start to move out on the double. So time is now going to start um, accelerating. Or at least the battle plan is. Some Armored Knights, uh, Armored Sergeants are going to try and screen his force while the Yemen uh, or Retinue Longbowmen are going to continue to unleash on my guys. Starting to do relatively large casualties against my guys. So I'm going to hasten the uh, the push on the flank. However, this is just some of my knights who are, yes, nobility, but uh, the core of my force is going to come down to the infantry. So I'm going to decide to charge out through the center. I want to slow or at least stop the archer fire. So you can see he's starting to react. He's pulling in some of his knights. In the back, his guys are going to try and close uh, the flanks. And so here come his guys. Forming up my flank is going to start to move. But here's going to be the first point of contact, the first wave. His guys continue to to unleash point blank. It's going to slow my knights down a little bit. He's going to actually come out from the ranks of the archers and counter charge, so a good move to stop me. Fire him, I probably would have pulled back uh, a little bit further. His um, longbow in here are caught in a little bit of an odd position, so yeah, you can see he's going to be falling back to his armored sergeants. More of my guys are starting to move up. They're getting picked off one at a time, but uh, not too many losses, so my first initial wave was the one taking a lot of the damage, um, and now as I continue to move up, you know, the, the fresh ranks are not going to be uh, harassed as much by the archers. And so now here comes the third punch that I'm starting to line up. It's going to be a lot of heavy infantry moving around the flank, and so I'm tying him down in the center, drawing all his attention, seeing how much he can commit to this, and then seeing what I can do. I also pulled around some knights over to this flanking position. I just have so many extra knights that I want to charge everything into this uh, formation. Try and tie down his men. You can see my cavalry in the back preparing for an assault. But anyways, here we go. My pikemen are going to move into the position. Try and fix him. He's going to retreat back into the center. So this is almost looking like an envelopment situation coming on. His uh, longbowmen are going to try and retreat into the center, but he has nowhere to go. My massive cavalry line in the back. Um, he realizes this, and so he's going to have some armored sergeants in the back. Those are essentially going to be uh, a can guarding the, the inner core of his army, and so I have to bring in the can opener, and that is going to be my heavy infantry right through here, already starting to line up, and so here we go. Operation can opener is going to be taking place, and that's going to be to remove the armored sergeants, the lid to his force, and then allow me to get to the more exposed internal parts of his army. And now here comes a massive flank and an opening, um, and so here come four of my units charging up through the front, heavily, heavily armored, and I'm going to be met by two of these English feudal knights and such um, and the archer fire is backing them up so they're gonna brace themselves for this assault so let's watch very cinematic um, as I try and crack some part of his force so here we go charging all up along the line arrows flying overhead but I think the arrows uh, 
you know, would have been better done from a distance. Um, at this point, in close quarter combat, I'm going to have the advantage. He was, however, able to punch through the center with some of his cavalry, so this is going to start to threaten my rear. I did, however, throw in some knights into this position to be able to hit out, hit his guys and then start to ping pong between these forces here, try and do more damage to his guys and freshen up um, my units and try and break some of these English knights who are causing me trouble. Then I'm going to collapse on these cavalry in the rear with three forces, so this is going to be goodbye to these marauding cavalry men. They're trying to slash at me with their, their swords and maces, but uh, I'm not having it. I'm going to collapse on these guys. The English here are going to fuel the burn and they're going to fight to the death. I'm going to try and disengage my cav to allow them to retreat and then be hacked to death. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty desperate position for the English. My flanks are where I'm strongest, and this is where he's going to have to force a lot of his guys. As he does that, what it's going to do is it's going to open up some of his flanks. So here I'm tied up. I'm also tying him up here. So, you know, what started as a fight in the center has disintegrated um, sort of in the center and has been forced to the flanks where most of my assault is coming in here. So he's holding out relatively well, but because his attention has been forced, uh, you know, to be focused on the flanks, it's opening up some nice open gaps in the center, which is exactly where my knights want to go. Now, in this direction, the stakes do nothing to me. So now my Templar knights are going to be able to charge right through here and just maraud into the rear of the English forces. This caused devastating losses. The knights here who would have otherwise liked to hold out are going to be um, threatened from all flanks. And now I'm going to start to overwhelm with my Templar knights. It's going to be in desperate straits. The enemy general, you can see him in the background charging through. Uh, he's kind of throwing in the last hurrah, trying to keep my guys at bay, perhaps score a kill against my knights. But no, he's going to be the one paying with his life. Now, the English are def definitely starting to break. In the center here, the remaining fight is still going on. Only he would have won this um, had it continued. You can see um, my strategy in the center was to put light troops, thin troops to distract his attention, and then put overwhelming pressure on the flanks. And it looks like, like I said, Operation Can Opener is working. It's popped open the lid, Victory and now I can get at the rear exposed parts edge. of his army. So, yeah, there you go. I've been able to wipe out his forces, and now I think his general died, and now it's going to cause a complete collapse of the army. So overall, really, really fun fight. I love playing some Medieval 2. Um, definitely enjoyed it. I think on an open plane like this, my opponent relied too much on Agincourt type tap tactics with too many archers. Uh, that's something you want to use when you can funnel in the opponent with terrain. In this case, it doesn't really work. And so you can see he brought more men, but that's because it was light troops. Uh, I got the overwhelming amount of kills. So pretty much a clean sweep. I just had to bring in heavy infantry, swarm, surround, and assault. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the statistics right through here. Um, so, let's see, how do I uh, sort this? Um, I don't think there's a way to sort it. Let's just look at it. So, Feudal Knights doing a good amount of damage. That was up through the front. Let's see how much everyone did. So, yeah, everyone, it looks like they did pretty well. No one really stands out, but that's because we all took a relatively significant chunk out of the English on all sides. Um, and, yeah, some prisoners caught by my frontline troops. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I look forward to doing more Medieval Tool and maybe even some Rome too. I think this is super one, super fun. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys in the next one. Um, and yeah, leave your comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching. See ya.